Hello everyone, it's Liz. If you're watching this channel and you're back, welcome back. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell to get more of my videos. So today I'm still working on Titania and Oberon. This canvas is taking a really long time. I've been working on it since March the 26th. So I've been working on it for a while. And how's everyone doing today? Are y'all doing good? Is everyone staying healthy? What were y'all pl y'all's plans for the weekend? Let me know down below. Um, yesterday, I went into Walmart and was walking around, and then I felt like passing out. Literally dropping to the floor, passing out. For what reason, I have no idea. So, now I gotta make myself a doctor's appointment. Yay. But anywho, I, um... So when I got home, I laid down, and my husband ordered some pizza. We ate a couple slices of pizza with kids, and then I laid down and went to sleep. Earlier during the day, I sat down to diamond paint, and all of my diamonds spilt out of this tray all over the glue and I had to pick them off with my tweezers and that took forever and I hadn't even started yet I just poured them in there and they slipped and fell out of my hands and all over the canvas so I don't think yesterday was the day for me to do diamond painting because it's was very frustrating. So after I picked them off, I put it all up and I just sat down and watched some TV. And then my husband, he spoils me rotten. He surprised me with another diamond painting, you guys. It's called Where the Fun Never Ends. I think it's by Mandy Manzano. I'm not sure. But I know it's not a new kit. I know it's a, an older kit, one that's come out, I'm pretty sure, since before I started diamond painting or before I discovered Diamond Art Club. But I'm so excited to get that one in the mail. Cannot wait. I'm going to do an unboxing. I know everyone's probably seen it before, but that's how excited I am about this one that I'm going to do an unboxing on it the second it arrives. <laughs> I think I'm hoping to be done with this one here in a couple weeks so I can start uh, the other diamond painting that I did in my unboxing apples. I really want to start that one. And after that, I think I'm going to do Moon for my best friend. She's, do, she's always been doing a lot for me. We've been friends for like 21 years. And she still helps me out whenever I need help. And I figured I'd do a diamond painting for her and give it to her as a gift. She loves anime. She absolutely enjoys it, so I'll be happy to give that one to her. I'm very excited. And my daughter, Tori, she wants to order uh, one of the Zodiac signs, Virgo, because that one's hers. She's been getting allowance, so I think she's going to 
give us her allowance so we can order her one. And if she does, I'll do an unboxing of that one too. Just know that that one's not mine. I won't be working on that canvas. It will be hers. But when she's done, I'll ask her her thoughts on it and maybe do a post review. I think uh, my youngest daughter, Nicole, she likes diamond painting as well. But she wants her daddy to buy her diamond painting. She don't want to spend her allowance. So, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to order her one or not. I'm trying to teach her the value of a dollar. Save your money for what you want. You work hard for what you want. And you'll appreciate it more. That's how I feel about it. So, we'll see how that works out. And then, next weekend, me and my husband are supposed to go to a comedy... Um, comedy night... We're supposed to be doing something like that together this coming up weekend, but if I feel dizzy and I can't walk 10 feet and I feel like passing out, then I'm not going to be able to go. And believe me, guys, I'm going to feel like crap. I'm going to feel like absolute crap because he was really excited to get those tickets for us. So I'm really hoping that I feel better by then. I'm really, really hoping because I'm going to be very upset if I'm not. I had the Rona last year in June, and ever since then I've been having issues with breathing. Um, that has really done a number on me. I'm going to make a doctor's appointment for Friday, this coming up Friday, and see what they can do or what they tell me, but I'm pretty sure it has to do with me having the Rona last year. I'm not going to be discussing the Rona all the time on this channel. I know that can be a touchy subject for some, but I'm just letting y'all know my experience with it. Couldn't breathe, had headaches, coughing, the whole nine yards. I had everything, all the symptoms. But I'm hoping they figure out what's wrong with me because it's really starting to freak me out, guys. I think I'm going to tell the doctor, you know, to run some tests if they can but I don't know I'm not sure what they can do anywho moving on from that subject my daughter has a dance coming up well my daughter and my son Tori and Aiden but Aiden doesn't want to go to the dance he's not into all that but my daughter does she's 14 a boy asked her to the dance. Not sure how I feel about that. Boys. I'm not ready for it. But. She got asked to the dance. So my sister's friend is going to come. And fix her hair and her makeup. And. Get all that ready for her. Because I didn't wear makeup growing up. At all. So I don't know how to do makeup. The only thing I know how to do is straighten my hair, so. I might just straighten her hair. She has curly, curly hair. But she wants straight hair, so. I might do that. I'm trying to convince Aiden to go, but he doesn't want to, so. Whatever. Yesterday, my husband and the kids went to buy... A video game. He took my son to the store to buy a video game. The girls tagged along with him and he bought Elden Ring. Same 
game that my husband has. and So, yay, now I get to hear him rage over that game because it's the hardest game ever made. Hopefully he doesn't rage, though. I'm hopeful. Fingers crossed. And my daughter, Nikki, she's saving for her own Oculus. We got them one for Christmas last year. And she wants her own because she doesn't want to share with her brother and she wants to play Gorilla Tag. And not have to take it off and share. So we told her, you know, they're expensive, but if you save your money, you can eventually buy your own. And right now, guys, she has $100 saved. Good for her. She's getting there. So, hopefully, hopefully she keeps saving. I mean, she spent some of her money and went and got her nails done for the first time. She absolutely loved it. She painted her, got her nails done and painted them baby blue. And she was walking up to everything blue in our home and comparing her nails to them. It was so adorable. And Tori got her nails done. She's in this phase where she likes the color black of all colors. So she painted her nails black with sparkles. And... Yep, yeah. I I told I told my daughters I said I I don't like I have long nails. Naturally long nails. I've cut them. They were like twice as long, but I told them I can't get my nails done. I can't stand when people touch my fingers. So yeah, I also. Um, wanted to update y'all on my puppy situation. So my husband was going to get me a puppy. I've been waiting years because he doesn't like small dogs. He said they're yippers and they yip a lot. But I want one. So he was going to get me one. And we went to my mother-in-law's house and we saw his cat. And his cat needs attention, so... I guess we're going to bring her in and hold off on my puppy for a little while. But she's a Siamese cat. She's two years old. And she needs some love and attention. So we're going to pay the pet deposit and bring her in. He also got my daughter a snake from outside. A garden snake. So... That's gross. I don't like snakes. Or hamsters, for that matter. They have two hamsters in their room. And my son has a hamster named Cheesecake. So, I don't bother with the animals at all. I told them if they need to be, the animals need to be fed, y'all better feed them because I'm not touching them and I'm not putting my hands in there either. So, we'll see what happens. So far, so good. They're taking care of him. Uh, what else has happened? Oh, have y'all heard about the... Do any of y'all watch Bob's Burgers? Bob's Burgers. I absolutely love that show. And guess what, guys? They're coming out with the movie. On May the 27th. I'm going to go watch that movie. Sit there and watch the movie. So I'm looking forward to that. And today, Aiden is going with my sister and my nephew to go watch uh, Doctor Strange, the new movie that came out. I've never seen it. I've never seen the first one so I don't know anything about it so don't worry no spoilers here um, but he seems pre he's pretty excited about that to go to the movies and then next week is their final week 
at school? Or is it this week? No, I think it's next week. Yeah, it's next week. But 7th and 8th grade are going to the movies to go watch The Bad Guys or Bad Guys. It's a cartoon. And 6th graders are going to the pool. Now, me, I can't swim to save my life. So the pool makes me really nervous. I don't like my kids going to the pool or going to the deep end. Sorry, I'm moving y'all around. Going to the deep end or anything without me or my husband there. Because my husband can swim, so he'll be able to save them. I can't swim. At all. Water freaks me out. So, I told her, you know, you can't go past the five, five foot mark. You can still go down the slides and play in the water. Just don't go past the five foot mark because I'm not comfortable with that. And don't go anywhere near the diving board either. So, she agreed to that and that way I wouldn't have to check off the shallow, stay in the shallow end because then they'll make her stay in the kiddie pool and she won't be able to get on the water slides. So, that happened. And then... <sighs> I talked to my friend, my best friend, and she, her and her boyfriend are moving in together. She's really excited about that. They've been moving, moving things in slowly. So, there's that, and, oh my god, guys, have y'all seen the show or the movie Demon House? Zach Baggins, or Baggins, however you say his last name. Have y'all seen that? Have y'all heard of it? If y'all have, y'all should watch it, because it is really, really good. It's scary. One thing y'all learn about me is I'm a chicken. I don't, I'm afraid of the dark. I'm 34 years old and afraid of the dark. And I'm not afraid to admit it. I have no shame. I sleep with a nightlight. You know, I mean, it is what it is. And I can't watch stuff like that by myself. So I watched it with my cousin and my sister. And my cousin was see, said she was seeing shadows, and my sister said her head was hurting, and oh right, my goodness, guys, come on, give me a break. But we watched the whole thing, and my sister said she was laying down in bed, and my cousin told her before she went up there, I'm going to go up there and lay down with you. Well, she went up there to lay down, my sister did, and my cousin went in, went on down to the living room to go to sleep, because my sister said she wasn't going to sleep in the bed with her. Well, my sister said later that night, she heard her door open and felt my cousin climbing bed with her to lay down, and she was telling her to get out of her bed. She turned around to push her with her foot, and there was nobody there, you guys, like, what the hell? Are you serious? There was no one there. That is scary. That is absolutely scary. That scared me. So, I don't know what kind of freaky stuff is going on in her apartment, but... That's scary. And that's why I sleep with the light on, guys. That way, I know if anybody came in, laid down next to me, it's not dark. Although I did take a nap one time and I thought my husband came in and laid down next to me and put his hand on my, you know, on my lower back just to let me know that he was there. And I turned around, guys, and there was nobody there. Absolutely nobody. So, yeah, think about that. Think about waking up. 
rolling over and you felt the bed move and you felt the bed push down like someone was laying down on it and there was absolutely no one around you. You were in the room by yourself. Imagine that in your heads because that's what happened to me. So, yeah. Absolutely scary. And... Have y'all heard about the formula shortage? What what do y'all think about that? I mean, my sister said she went to the store and only found two containers of formula for her little baby. There was only two containers left on the shelf. And she took those for her baby. That'll last about a week. So, I mean, that has to be scary for all the moms out there that have little ones. Little tiny babies. That has to be stressful. And I'm sorry that you guys have to go through that due to the shortage. And I hope things get better. I think. I think it's going to get better. I hope so. But I think I'm going to wrap things up now because my phone can only record so much. I'm hoping to get a camera soon. That way I can do whipping chats for an hour. Won't that be exciting? And yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and Click on that notification bell if you want to get more videos, if you want to get notified. I'm going to try and post at least two videos a week. And I will see you guys later. Please let me know down in the comments below how y'all are doing. I'm very interested. Let me know if y'all have any advice. I'm open to it. And I will get back to y'all. Bye.